I'm back with the after video for my 1987 Diamondback Cool Street. Had just an excellent turnaround on this bike. Uh, it turned out even better than I could have expected. Those of you who've seen the before video, uh, you know, saw some of the details I covered about the rims and such. Uh, it was a coaster model and it chrome rim hoops were getting getting a little rusty I uh, I had a good faith that they had polished out nicely and they did there are a couple of very small spots of rust scarring which you really have to be under very close examination to locate I'm actually having difficulty finding a spot at the moment um, as I covered before, they're both CMC steel rim hoops, and uh, the front one was dimpled and the rear one was not dimpled. Well, I swapped them out. It made more sense to me to have the dimpled rim out back with the heavier gauge spokes out back, and I uh, happen to have a, a Shimano steel uh, chrome plated hub that I laced in here to go freewheel, and I put on a nice high quality Shimano. Uh, SFMX 30 um, 17 tooth freewheel and so now this bike's been dignified as a, a freewheel bike and went with the white tires uh, it really spiced it up with with the white stuff white tires white brake cable white seat um, these bar ends are kind of crappy and, and chipped up a little bit but they were better than none. So that's some white bar ends. And uh, I kind of just had the stuff laying around. And it, it turned out excellent. I put a lot of time into it. I worked on this bike for like four days straight. And I mean like all day. Um, you know, the wheels were a, a micro project within themselves. I waxed every bit of this, this paint and it, it came out pretty respectable. Get a nice slow pan over that uh, down tube decal there. Now some of you may have noticed that fork has a little bit of a, a kicked out appearance. That is a natural rake. That does belong on there. I, I did some research on these and they are supposed to have a naturally raked fork. Um, they got these neat built in um, fork standers there. One of the neat things that I did with the, as a little <coughs> finishing touch, I, I added these pegs, and in doing so, when I threw on a set of four inch pegs, they, they looked really disproportionate. You know, they hung out pretty far. So I cut them down to two and a half inches each, and since they have fine machine lines, it was easy to follow a nice straight, perfect line. I got them, got them pretty good. And, you know, it just looks so much more balanced when you step back and you see that the back pegs are in equal range of width with the front frame standers. And it just adds a nice balanced appearance. Uh, the rear die comp brake is dated 1987, so it's confirmed factory uh, equipment. The white brake cable is Teflon lined or whatever they line them with. It's a lined cable. Nice smooth action. Uh, white plastic lever I had laying around. Uh, the factory hand grips. Got the Mike Dominguez signature on the handlebars. I didn't run the cable through the loops because it's kind of more of when you have a, you know, like an ECS rotor or something on there. <clears throat> but yeah, it it turned out real nice. And I was, you know, I was happy to see one. When massaging every inch of this paint here, that there is no, you know, dents. Um, I also waxed the the stem because you know it's a painted surface, and you know, happy to see there's no hammer dents on that or anything, you know, common when bikes are in the hands of kids. So all in all, a real nice turnaround on this bike. And now I recently picked up a tracker, so got my interest heading in that direction. Uh, thanks for having a look.